Well, this is Huck. I'm on my way to Stratford upon Avon, and I'm on the um, road driving from um, the hotel I'm staying at in Oxfordshire. It's about a, um, I don't know, about a 25-mile drive to where I'm going. I thought this would give you a nice view of um, the kind of um, stone houses and um, <coughs> history that uh, just lines every street everywhere you go in this country. Um, old churches like that dead ahead here on the left. Um, this is just stunning. I mean, there's history everywhere. The people that live here, um, by and large, just take this all for granted. You know, I mean, yeah, they're sacred sites and, you know, but I mean, there's not really any place you can go that isn't, you know, four or five hundred years old um, in every town. Um, in some cases, the whole downtown areas. And, uh, you know, dating back to the time of um, Shakespeare, or um, shortly, maybe after. Anyway, my destination actually is Stratford-upon-Avon. I uh, briefly drove through the town. It was breathtaking. Um, on my first day here, I had a little medical emergency, and I wasn't able to get out of the car, take any pictures. Um, I uh, had a real dire emergency there Friday, and I have spent two days um, in my hotel room without leaving the room. Uh, they have been fabulous at this hotel. Uh, it's a four-star Crown Plaza Haythorpe in Oxfordshire. The rooms are like twice what I had hoped would be my top rate um, while in England, but. Um, I was desperate. I needed to get to the first hotel nearby. The rest and relaxation was exactly what I needed. Um, I think I might even have a touch of pneumonia. Fortunately, I brought all the antibiotics. Um, prednisone, uh, Symbacort. Um, I had to have somebody from the hotel run out and get me aspirin. Um, but of course I got my oxygen. So I had everything I needed just for this type of an emergency. And trust me, I had an emergency. I had full-blown um, respiratory distress. I literally was hyperventilating for five minutes and was starting to go into convulsions. They had to call an ambulance. This was Friday at about 4 p.m. Um, about an hour or so after I had um, driven through Stratford. I was so weak, I literally couldn't step out of the car. Um, I had stopped at a gas station trying to get into the gas station so I could use the restroom and buy some water. Um, I took like two steps and I had my attack. A young lady by the name of Bernice stayed with me, called an ambulance. Uh, so I got an up-close personal view of the um, national health system, cost me nothing. The guy was very professional, checked my blood, um, uh, he, uh, my blood pressure, my um, oxygen level, my um, uh, pulse, my temperature. Uh, he um, even gave me an electrocardiogram. I mean, he had put 10 little of those uh, things on my shirt, but I was a mess. And um, just as he arrived, I uh, remembered that this oxygen machine can go from um, pulse, where it just releases air when you breathe, to continuous flow. And I turned it to its highest setting, which I think is three for continuous flow. And I think that's what got me out of it. Um, it took me about a minute after I changed that setting um, before I was able to slowly start recovering. And so Bernice, um, 
although the paramedic wanted me to go to the hospital, um, I knew there was nothing they were going to be able to do for me that I really couldn't do for myself. I needed rest. And if anything, going to the hospital was just going to delay my ability to get that rest. So, um, and like I said, I had all the medicine I knew I, I had, uh, you know, foreseen the possibility that I would have this kind of an emergency. I had Dr. Samarone provide me with, um, uh, you know, a full prescription of amoxicillin. And so I began taking it as soon as I got to the hotel. They have been fabulous there. They have waited on me hand and foot. I did not leave that hotel room for two days. Well, it's huck. Hey, I'm here at Stratford upon Avon. There's Holy Trinity Church. I'm going to try to find a parking space. Well, So we're going to go through Holy Trinity Church. Shakespeare was christened here. Um, his birth records were uh, recorded here. He was married here. And I shouldn't be doing too much walking without my oxygen. But I'm going to try to do this because I don't think I can carry it. So this is one of the things I dearly wanted to see. I'm just going to have to take my time. Um, and make some stops along the way. can't read the names on most of these headstones. Um, they're pretty old.
Hi. Shakespeare's baptism was born to John Shakespeare and his wife, Mary Arden, around April 23, 1564, was baptized into the Christian family at Holy Trinity a few days later on the 26th of April. Queen Elizabeth I had by then been on the throne for six years. Young William was to grow up in a church very different from that of his parents. Shakespeare would have attended church every Sunday with his family, received catechism, instruction, and the basic lessons of Christianity. From his earliest years, he was exposed to biblical tales, and his knowledge, his plays are steeped in the knowledge of the Bible. Shakespeare's wedding, there's some mystery surrounding which local church Shakespeare was married in. His marriage license still exists, but his name does not crop up in any registers, so various local churches lay claim. Whether or not there was a great romance, Leading up to uh, the nuptials, we know their wedding happened in haste. Normally, glacial laws require three readings of the bands, announcements of the couple's intent to marry. It's possible to speed the process, as the Shakespeare's did, by getting a license from the bishop. This couple with the arrival of baby Susanna, only six months later, would indicate Anne was pregnant when the couple married. Excuse me, I'm sorry.
performance.